Hi, my name is Michael Caduce, EMS educator at the EMS Learning Resources Center. Today, as part of our video series, we will be discussing supraglottic airway skills. First, I will ensure I am wearing proper body substance isolation, which includes gloves and eye protection. I will begin by opening the airway and ensuring the airway is clear of obstructions that would require suctioning. I will then insert an airway object such as the oral pharyngeal airway or the nasal pharyngeal airway and ensure the patient accepts the adjunct. I will then begin manual ventilations with a bag valve mask. I will make sure I am providing proper ventilations looking for good chest rise and fall and then attach my bag valve mask to oxygen at 15 liters per minute. I will ventilate at a rate of one breath every five to six seconds while watching for chest rise and fall. After consulting medical direction, I prepare for supraglottic airway placement. To do so, I ask my partner to take over ventilations of the patient and him to pre-oxygenate my patient. I will inspect the packaging of the airway device for tears, and if none are found, I can remove the device and inflate the cuffs to ensure they hold air. Before inserting the device, I will apply lubrication to the distal tip and ask my partner to stop ventilating and remove the OPA. I will then perform a tongue jaw lift and advance the device into the airway to the back of the throat. I will then use the supplied syringe to inflate the cuffs with air and detach the syringe from the port. I will then attach the BVM to the airway device and deliver ventilations while watching for chest rise and fall. I will confirm tube placement by auscultation, listening for the absence of gastric sounds and presence of bilateral lung sounds. Ventilations will now be at a rate of one breath every six seconds. After confirming placement of the tube, I will secure the tube and continue providing care for the patient. Supraglottic airway insertion is an important airway management skill for the pre-hospital provider.